Hi, it's Hannah again, and I'm here this time to quickly show you how to set up and use your new barbecue grill mats. First, fire up your grill and get it to the optimal grilling temperature for use with grill mats. This is going to be between 325 and 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Most grills now have temperature gauges, which make it easy, but if yours doesn't, here's a tip on how to test the heat. Hold your hand four or five inches above the grill and count the seconds until you're forced to remove it through involuntary response. For working on the grill with the mats, you're looking for medium heat between 325 and 375. You should be able to hold your hand over the grill for six or seven seconds. You'll be using slightly lower heat than you do when grilling without the mats. This is because the mats will absorb the heat and distribute it evenly across the cooking surface. Once the grill is heated between 325 and 375, just put the mats directly on the grill. Easy enough. Just be sure you don't put them down when the heat is too high. Some people complain that the mats slide around on the grill and make the food hard to manage. They are nonstick mats on both sides, so yes, they will tend to slip around. This is all about technique. I'll show you how to manage that in the next video. But for beginners, if you're having a bit of trouble at first mastering the techniques in the next video, before heating the grill, you can anchor the mats by tucking the ends underneath the grates. If you don't have the style of grill that this will work on, you can also use all metal binder clips to help hold the mats in place. You can find those at any office supply store, but keep in mind, once you learn the techniques in the next video, you won't have any problems with that. After a few uses, you may notice that the edges of your mats appear very slightly frayed in spots. This is just a few of the fibers on the very edge of the mats poking out in response to the heat exposure. It will happen in the first couple uses. This doesn't mean your mats are coming apart. You can trim off any dangling fibers with a sharp pair of scissors, sort of like giving your mats a haircut. That's it for this video. I'll see you in video 4 where I'll show you how to use your barbecue tools with your new grill mats. Chef Karen, making you an expert, one tool at a time.